My name is Felix. I'm made in Taiwan, raised in Hawaii, and I live in Hollywood, California. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna rock their canoes, baby. I am outgoing, kind of crazy, and I'm not gonna lie, I like to shock. I always say what's on my mind, and I'm often the one telling the dirty joke. Thank you. I need this apron. I'm gonna get it, I'm not gonna beg for it. I'm not gonna tell you a sob story. You just have to taste my food. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. First name is? Felix. Felix. Yeah. OK. Off you go. you got five minutes. And what are you going to cook? Um, I'm going to make a crispy risotto with a steak tartare on top. Crispy risotto. Hold with... on. With a steak tartare. That's right. You'll just have to stick with me while I use my fingers. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> There's a spatula in the drawer, darling, rather than burn your hand oh. in front of you. Oh, my god. OK. Did you just swig out a bottle? Don't be fooled by the cover of the book. Is there a little <laughs> wild firecracker underneath that demure look? Demure look? I'm kind of a wild card. I say what's on my mind. I'm straightforward. OK. Enough. Oh, come on. Bring it over. Let's play. Finished? Finished. I'm just going to slip this off, because I'm ready to put on another one. <laughs> As opposed to the spicy tuna, the idea of the beef tartare, where did that come from? Well, it goes more with risotto, and I love steak tartare. Mm -hmm. Let me just stop you there two seconds. Risotto goes with steak tartare. Well, not that it goes with, but it's more hand in hand than risotto and spicy tuna. So I want you to play with this. So you take the quail lake and you put it into the little slit. Right. Um, first thing, I'm, I'm not going to play with food. I'm going to taste your food. OK. OK. Um, the tartare is under season, so it's sort of almost like it's underwhelming because it's just like a big clump of raw beef. Mm. Okay. I'm a little dark here. Mm -hmm. It's slightly charred. Great. Thank you. OK, um, rice was tasty, slightly overcharred on one side, seasoned nicely. The bit I wanted to enjoy was the tartare, because when you've got something bland in your mouth that's raw, you don't really want to eat much of it. Love the confidence, but it's on the verge of the arrogance, because you're not really delivering the goods. For me, it's a no. I couldn't disagree more. I think that well, it's... Um... You disagree or not? I thought I'm it was giving you my version. Um, I thought sorry. it was really good. It's fine. I thought the rice was good, crunchy, properly seasoned. The tartare was also good. I don't know, I'd like to see more. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. All right. Well, it comes down to me, and here's my thing. You know, I, I do appreciate taking the inspiration of the crispy rice from the sushi world but I would have rather seen a, a full-on commitment to it, you know, going straight on Asian and getting rid of those other flavors, you know? So, you know, it really could go either way. How much is the commitment there to doing this? Are you committed enough to come back next year if we say no? I've made it this far. Then I can make it farther next year if you say no. You're gonna cry the tartare, at least you're gonna season it. I think you have what it takes, and I want to see more. Yes. Come get your apron. Thank you. All right. Don't take things for granted. Don't get too cocky before we even start. All right? Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> I can do my happy dance now. <laughs> um, can I just give you a little bit of advice? Don't get too happy, because we've just put one foot on the ladder. Thank you for this opportunity. Fooled again, JB. Oh my god. 
I'm really thankful that they gave me this opportunity. And I have no idea what's coming next, but whatever it is, I'm ready for it.